Hey guys and girls, this is Gordon Overkill once more. And uh, since uh, since uh, I need a little break from work and uh, I really like this uh, multiplayer gaming, I'm going to play another character in the Roman Republic game of today's Creator's Day. So, the character which I accepted to play next is Undying, a male level 7 dark elven healer. So, let's load this guy and take a look at him. He's already at uh, turn 6000, so I'm going to play the next 4000 turns up to 10,000. 10, okay, what do we have? We have a very bad strength, s uh, strength stat. Excellent learning, nice willpower, excellent dexterity, toughness, well, could be more, charisma 10, appearance 15, magic 17, perception 18. We are chaotic and I read that um, we've got a quite high piety for the chaos god. I hate being chaotic, but anyway. <laughs> That's what's so funny about these games, that you have to play characters that you have not developed yourself. Ooh, what I see here is that we've got just one point of defense and uh, one point of protection and 28 defense value points, which is not good. I don't like that. Hit points 64. That's quite okay. Take a look at the at the skills. Oh, what was that? Oh no, wrong button. Why? Have I pressed numlock? Maybe that's no. Ah, yeah, okay, that was it. Okay, what do we have here? Oh no, he uses this uh, quick skills. Never used this feature. Interesting. Pickpockets on one, first aid on two. Okay, yeah, he uh, started training pickpockets. My predecessor, which was... Uh, who was it? Um... I will look later. I, I'm not quite sure. Maybe it was Grubble Wobble or Jelly Slayer or somebody with a fluffy name. <laughs> Grubble Wobble or Jelly Slayer. The one of the fluffy guys. Well, anyway, <laughs> we've got already healing at 100, which is excellent. With the healer bonus, we regenerate quite fast. We've got a good herbalist score. Literacy at 100. At one point, we're going to learn spells. Pickpockets is being developed, maybe to become member of Thieves Guild. Uh, find weakness, quite okay. First aid is nice. Cooking, we can cook. Hmm. Okay, do we have a cooking set? Don't know. Concentration, developing, alertness. Okay, okay. Doesn't look too bad. Let's check the equipment. Oh, that's okay. Uh, we've got a cursed orcish spare, which is not too bad because it is a spare and we do not have anything better very likely. I see we are using berserker mode, that's why we don't have protection, otherwise we would wear the rope. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Got a pickaxe. Hmm. Short bow, blessed, dark elven quarrels, so just two quarrels, couple of cursed rocks, wands unidentified, three potions of extra healing, that's nice, lots of unidentified potions, scrolls unidentified, some, a book, quite some money. Hmm, what is our melee tactic? I think we just berserk them all to death and we throw rocks at them. Yeah, we throw rocks and melee berserk. Anyway, I'm not at all happy with this protection situation. I think the druid dungeon is uh, explored down to the to the bottom level. So what we're going to do now Let's get back to the surface and I will try with my turns to get some better equipment. 
some uh, higher protection value and maybe we can do that in the infinite dungeon. I think that might be not too bad to visit this dungeon right now. Throwing club no. We do not want to melee you. Is he quicker than us? 99. We have a speed of 102. We should get away from him. Yeah. Nice. The rock. So. Okay, if I got it right, the puppy cave was already quite explored. This dungeon is explored. Do we have a lot of stuff to sell? Mm, at least some. But uh, we do not want to sell it right now because we definitely also want to train our strength stuff. So we go directly. How much food do we have? One blessed large fashion. It's not much. Um... No food preservation. We will definitely at first go to Terrinio and buy some food. I do not want to get into food trouble. That would be a, a unworthy death for a hero. So... What do we have here? 32 for large ration, 32, uh, 33, 33. Maybe that's the uncursed ones. So let's buy some of them. Two, three, so we are at strength, that trains our strength, uh, our, our strength. and we can easily uh, eat some of it from time to time. Let's enter the infinite dungeon, eat a large ration, and we're just going to explore some levels of this dungeon. I think in this version there would be the possibility of stair hopping, but uh, that sucks and only idiots do it and posers and uh, we are neither an idiot nor a poser so oh oh, oh. Good. so we are doing it the, the honorable way slings to level one that's nice what about the fighting skills slings at one crossbows at two daggers at two polems at three polem three is quite nice but what we want is better armor. Under any means, we need better armor, definitely. That's why we are here. So we will not leave until we have found at least studded leather armor or something like that. Gremlin. Gonna melee him. Clothes are not worth taking. This guy is neutral. So that was this level. Try maybe first. We we should not explore. It is not so useful to explore every single level a level of the infinite dungeon because whenever you uh, leave a level, get back to uh, get back to it. If I would now take those uh, upstairs again, <coughs> 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 sorry, the level would be uh, generated new, uh, completely uh, complete. Uh, a completely new level would be generated. So we take those downstairs and I think the area between level 4 and 7 would maybe be a, a good area at the moment to, 
search for equipment. Door is locked. Of course, I'm not going to risk anything. A hand crossbow? Well, maybe we find some tiny quarrels. Oh, our orcish spear just rusted. That's not so good. That decreases the damage and, uh, well, hmm. Got hungry. Eat one more ration. A long sword. Okay, maybe that's the backup of one. Get down to the next level. You sense a certain tension. That might be a chance for training. So, we'll explore this level a little more. Kick this door. Mm, not gonna kick that one. Sorry, tension room. Okay, we were hit by the quasi, but we were able to kill it. As you see, we do quite a lot of damage in this berserking mode, which is not so bad, and we regenerate quick enough to stay out of the worst trouble. Large spider, how moderately injured. How quick is it? It has a speed of 95 on the average. We should be able to outrun it, or... No, we are heavily burned. We've got 92. That's not enough. Defensive mode, what is our best weapon? Well, just the spear. Oh no, we are poisoned. We have to kill the spider quick now. It is dead. So, whenever we lose hit points, we're going to... Uh, does it work that way? Let's try it. No, no, not pickpocket ourselves. That was two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're trying to uh, compensate the lost hit points with uh, first aid. Okay, we cannot do it while we're caught in the webs. Okay, okay. Although we are poisoned, we are able to regenerate all our hit points. That's not so bad, to be honest. Door is locked. Kick it. Okay, okay, it was booby-trapped. We're in by Roaring Flames, but it just does some damage. Nothing else. Not by poison, okay. We get hungry, that is a bigger problem. Eye of Destruction. And we should quickly kill it. Yeah, that way. Can we also kill this? Oh, no, 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 no. Do not kill this character, Mr. Overkill. Take care. <sighs> well, now we're double poisoned, I think. hear a grinding sound in the distance. I do not remember what that meant. Quizit. We reached level 8. That's nice. What do we do now with this new level? Hmm. We might increase our find weakness skill. Yeah. Might put one more on. Hmm. We don't have so many really good Skills. Put one more on alertness because it's great, but oh, one point. One more concentration. Find weakness once again and another time. I think that's the most useful thing to pop up find weakness. Oh, we got a point of strength. Nice. Some hit points. I think these uh, quick. Uh, way to uh, apply skills is very very helpful maybe i should uh, also start to use that with that doppelganger 
A doppelganger. We should melee him. Yeah, severely wounded. Take this, my not friend. Oh no, you're confused. Okay, uh, severely wounded. We want to kill you. Well, anyway, we're on level 5 right now. The ro giant raccoon attacks us. Oh no, a, a raccoon. This raccoon is not so s not weak. Okay, okay, okay. Wait. Oh no, our rusty spear is broken now. So we uh, our damage is divided by 4. <sighs> is he already injured? Moderately well. We can also use daggers and knives. Which is better than this. Oh no, we cannot take it off. We should take kill the raccoon with missile weapons. Okay, it worked. <laughs> We're equipped with a broken, rusty, orcish spear that is cursed, so we cannot take it off. That really sucks. Hmm. Do not want to risk entering the next level. Some uh, rocks. We're not poisoned anymore, at least that's something. Displacer beast is neutral. Oh, sorry, displacer beast. The cobalt is no problem. What the displacer beast? Can we hit it? It hits us. It hits us again. That's not so good. That's really not so good. We should try to do it with the rocks. But displacer beasts have a very good ability to avoid attacks. Hit the cobalt a critically wound uh, Can't we kill a cobalt with this fucking weapon? Must use missile weapons. That we're hungry now. Oh man. Moderately injured is this guy. Maybe in aggressive mode we can hit him like that. No, it hits us. And it hits us again. That's not good. Oh no, man! Retreat! Goodbye, fucker. Who's that? Radar, neutral. Not want to fight him. Back to the next level. <laughs> giant bat. Okay, we should be able to beat a giant bat with rocks. Ooh, okay. Here comes the cobalt, neutral. Eat large Russian. Large cobalt attacks us. Oh, that's a little dangerous at the moment. I do not want all those monsters around me. Come on, what's going on here? I think uh, so far we managed to get this character in a lot bigger trouble than he was before. And it's not so good that stay away from those fuckers. Eat this. Dark room, not going to enter this. Okay. But at least we found something to eat. What's that? A clean rope. Maybe it's better than ours. And it increases uh, the weight so we can train a little better. We get a little mud in the face. Got to wash it off. So, skin feels refreshed. That gives us plus one appearance. Dark Elven Archer. I do not want him to shoot us, but I shoot him instead. I thought about letting him shoot some tiny quarrels at us, but uh, we're too much injured.
Okay, that's red. Come on. This is really a tough character, not easy to play. Okay, okay, here uh, we get some arrows. What's up, dude? What do you want? Missile duo? Can have it. Oh no. <laughs> Fuck. Severely injured and he hits us. Oh no, 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 no. Not good. It's a barbarian leader. He can do quite some damage. But we can do more. I hate protection value one. What's that? Fuck. Uh. Maybe retreat to the higher levels. Level three, we've got a uh, not so high uh, danger level. The items we find here are also not as good, but uh, you know what, I do not care. Well, we could just kill the neutral characters anyway, because we are already chaotic, so it doesn't matter. That increases our chance to find good items. Mm, ordinary mace, well, sellable. <laughs> but I still think it would be uh, even more stupid continue without armor at this state of the game. Things to level 3, like that. And there was a message. Thudding sounds. What means thudding sounds? I don't even know the word. Quarter stuff. Sellable. Oh. Your blessed robe is burned to ashes. Well, do not wear it anyway. Fuck you, random asshole. Man, from the three characters that are... Oh, stone block on the head. <laughs> he is actually not very <laughs> lucky. <laughs> That's of the three characters that I play today. Definitely the hardest one. Thief. Die. What do we have here? Three reds. That might mean that there is a wear red around. Yeah, there he is. We do not hit the rats with our stupid idiot weapon. Do we even train it that way? I don't know. Yeah, we do. Well, that's something. And the rats do not do that much damage either. Come on, wear it. Wear it does more damage, I think, so kill it that way. Orange potion scroll. A broken, rusty, cursed weapon. Fuck. Okay, there must be a secret door, but we don't care. We just go to the next level. But we go back down to the last one because we already know that the deeper levels are too hard for us. sense a certain tension. Tension rooms might be interesting. Elven bread is very satiating, nice. <sighs> okay, don't get any further. So let's kick that door. Maybe we are lucky and uh, trap destroys our cursed weapon. Yeah! Haha! <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> nice! <laughs> that's exactly what I hoped what would happen. Well, it also destroys the short bow, that's a little sad, but we are rid of this horrible, damn cursed weapon. Well, what do we want to use now? Hmm. 
may be the lawful orcish dive. Yeah, yeah. At least we know what it does. Well, here is no. Uh, again, we need to find a secret door. So, new third level. Let's see what we can find here. Some enemies, at least. Well. But I really hope that we can seriously improve the situation of this character. Well, we did it a little by getting rid of this cursed weapon, but uh, anyway, that's still not what we are looking for. And we are finding some nice corpses, not too bad. A new short bow, rock, scroll, gold. Hmm. Continue with this level. Oh. Broadsword. Broadsword's at least nice to sell. You know, in the infinite dungeon it doesn't help us for the progress of the of the game, of its main plot or something like that. But I just think that this character if he should uh, uh, rightfully claim this name, then we should first empty this orc room. No, uh, what I wanted to say, if uh, he should have his new name uh, rightfully, then definitely need some armor before we continue. We're berserking them all. Oh. To oh oh, oh 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 take care. Already down to low HP. That happens so quick with this guy. Got a bigger stack. Ten. Nice. Good uh, night. Rocks. Rocks. A lot to eat. Nice. Eat that. Eat that. Eat that. Eat that. So. At least we are very satiated now. Slings at level 3, that's already quite okay. Fencer is dead. I think we should try to uh, use as much missile combat as possible. Because you saw it how quick our uh, hit points went down. This is locked. Well. Now we have no need of uh, traps anymore. So let's get back to this level. Stone clap, okay. Orca stagger. Door is locked. this level. Still no big success with the armor thing. Who's that? Oh, 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 a corpse fiend. Oh, I think this guy is quite strong. But we killed him and we find more food. At least the food problem is solved for the moment. Oh, okay. This guy is quite tricky too. Grey ooze. But good. Kill him. Good. The advantage of the infinite dungeon in my eyes is that uh, 
you can stay on levels of one and the same danger level in the uh, for example in the caverns of chaos we would have to descend at any time when we've got everything uh, okay explored at one level so here we've got as many low danger level levels as we need in order to find goddamn armor Moderately injured, and he's dead. Nice. Slings to level 4. Very nice. Club sucks. Anyway. Locked door. Don't need that. I'm feeling at least a little secure at the moment because we are... Oh, that's the guy we did not want to meet. Clawbuck has to die quickly, very quickly. Yeah. Oh, rats. Nice. Come here, ratties, ratties, ratties. Level 9. Good. Uh, what do we increase? It will be hard to find something makes sense. Well, first aid, a little more herbalism, alertness, two points, and even more first aid. Uh, find weakness. We get a new talent. And what do we need here? Let's see what we can get. I remember that we definitely had alert. So we might go for treasure hunter with such a crappy equipment. Treasure hunter would definitely not be bad. <laughs> and I uh, aimed treasure hunter with all the characters I played today, so he's going to do so too. Mizzer. Deck is a knife to level 3. Very good. Scroll, iron ration, gold pieces, rock, seven rocks, four rocks, two, six rocks, two rocks, rock, and a giant wrecked corpse that we're going to eat. At least we've got this wonderful regeneration rate. That's nice. of the level. Rope. Might be some good ropes among all those. We're almost at a, at a 9,000 turns, so we've got 1,000 left. I think we will now just uh, explore the, the level above us and then we'll get back out and uh, try to reach uh, an altar in order to status ID the stuff we found.
then we will see if we were able to improve our situation. Hungary. Uh, iron Russian. Ogre. Ogre, that's quite some damage. Oh, come on. Kill him. We lose hit points so quickly, that's not good. So... But not from the red. Giant red. Sorry. Uh, I've got a pixie. Kill it. I said kill it. Kill them. Good. Scroll. We've got so many scrolls, it's quite likely that there is maybe a scroll of identify among them or something like that. Rocks, rocks, eat the rock thrower. At least we got another point of strength, meanwhile. So now we've got strength 13. Slowly but surely it looks better in this respect. So, still explore the rest of this corridor. Find a black rope. We've got lots of ropes. Maybe if they're all uncursed, it might be that there is at least one with a uh, two protection value among them. A dwarf. Ogre corpse. Eat it. Ah, oh, no strength increase, too bad. So, now we're going to leave the infant dungeon again. After we can see again. Oh, whoa, whoa, <laughs> nice surprise. This is, wait, this is a rattling fencer, which we are going to kill with rocks. This guy is quite tough. The ogre is going to be killed with rocks too. And ogre corpse. And again no strength increase. Man. We could really use that. Mr. Generator. Don't you see it? The berserker. Can we melee him? Oh, he does damage. Well. Kill him anyway. So... Let us now get back to the altar in this dungeon. I think it was in the third level. In order to status ID our equipment. We have to take good care because we are chaotic, which means when we enter this altar, when we uh, step on it, every chaotic humanoid monster could sacrifice us. So we want all those doors to be closed at first. Check the neighboring rooms. This, for example, was a humanoid monster that would have been able to sacrifice us. This guy too. Close this door. I don't know if a zombie or a corpse fiend can sacrifice, but we do not want to risk it. Is that knife and coral arrows why didn't I check those piles black rope well but the orcish knife is okay lots of orcish knives battle axe great to sell there we have got some enemies uh, at least a large bat at first and a female Gnoll, who is chaotic and humanoid, so we're not going to risk letting him alive. Gnoll calls gonna be eaten. Close that door, close this door, time quarrel, close that door. Now we're ready to 
drop our stuff. Let's see what we've got there. Rope, black rope, iron boots, light boots. Good. Now I have lots of weapons. We found a lot more weapons than armor pieces, which was a little sad. But well, maybe there's something good among us uh, that uh, brings us further towards uh, competitive equipment. So, what do we have? Nothing here, nothing here. A rope, one protection, no. A black rope, one protection, no. Too bad. Uh, no. Don't know if we do want that. Let's check the weapons. W or at first the boots. This one. Ooh! Plus two protection. Nice. Three protection! That's it, yeah! So, this bo these boots are our first real part of equipment. The black rope. The door opens and an orc gets inside. Mr. Orc, you wanted to sacrifice us, right? Hill Orc? But you know what we do with people who want to sacrifice us? We sacrifice them! Ha! <laughs> so, now check out the weapons. Crude knife. Sucks. Whip. Well, a whip. Long sword. Dagger. Fragile dagger. Mace. What was that? Put off the rope. Don't know why. That was a mistake. Stone clip. Well. Ah. Uh, mace. Sucks. Broadsword. Sucks. Good knife. That's not bad. That does a lot of damage. That's our new weapon. If not, this knife is even better. I don't know what of the void means. Well, anyway. We use the hefty orcish knife because of the hefty damage it does. Nothing here. So, equip some rocks again. Mm. The biggest stack, 24 rocks. And we are going to drop some items that we do not need, which is the second rope. Well, we could sell the boots, but don't really need to. But Anyway, maybe we could get some money. Also the rope. We're not gonna drop anything. Our uh, last aim for this, uh, for uh, our turns is uh, the black market. Maybe there is something useful to buy there. And we shall not forget to equip a light cloak. See, now we've got a protection value of five, which is in my eyes already quite okay. That's, uh, at least it's better than, than one which we started with. Some people like true berserking in the early game, but I'm not one of those. <laughs> Makes me see if he's so vulnerable. So, here we are. Wand of Dog Creation, nice. Wand of Lightning, also nice. Here we're going to drop what we don't need, which is this rope, those boots. We keep the backup boots, maybe our other boots will get destroyed. And we need to carry something because we want to increase our strength even more, so. Sell this. Awful. Well, yeah. uh, sell the battle axe. Knives. Knife, longsword, fragile dagger, mace, broadsword, stone club. I don't know what of the void means. Maybe that's good. We keep that. Quarter stuff can be sold. And crossbow. To check this out, we keep the. Well, no, we do it another way. We just try 
which one is worth more. This hand curl is 144 and this one is 165 so maybe it's better we drop the cheaper one. Now going to our ammunition we will drop those cursed rocks those cursed rocks mm, maybe that's okay uh, anything else to say? we've got so many potions I'm quite sure there are good stuff among them we've got a lot of uh, food we've got quite some money 2300 maybe we can buy something with it is it enough for the want of dog creation oh it's cheap maybe it's cursed we'll buy it the hoods uh, let's pick up Let's get some uh, uh, organization into these uh, shop items. That all sucks. Is that a sling? No. But the potion of wonder is nice. Five rocks. No, I've got enough. Potion of water, nice. Leather garnets, one protection. We want those. a large shield another point of protection yeah nice so let's drop everything that wait no all the useless items the useful items get to another space here drop them all it's for well not all we will buy the large shield and the red gunlets, which makes together a thousand gold. Wand of door creation. Not the wand of light. Keep the potion of water, but not the potion of wonder. That's it, I think. Can we pay the rest? Yeah. Uh, <coughs> Well, that's a little stupid now, maybe. Not totally useful. But uh, the last turns I will go back to this, uh, to the altar once more to check if uh, those items I just bought are uncursed, so I can equip them. So at least uh, the next player will know how much protection value he actually has good about the strength potential, that's nice. Hungry. Gonna change that. Eat the cursed iron ration. Close the doors. Drop. Pick up. The large shield is cursed. I think we do not care so much about it. We equip it anyway can get rid of it later and it uh, definitely increases our chances for the moment. Yeah, we equip it and uh, we equip those red leather gauntlets. So now we are at seven points of protection. That definitely looks like a survivable character in my eyes. We've got uh, uh, a quite nice weapon too with a high damage value. Yeah, so I hope that we have brought undying into a good direction. Somehow he's a sympathetic character, this uh, chaotic beast of, uh, of whatever. So now, 10,000 tens are over. We survived. We managed to get some protection value and to get a new weapon. And we uh, increased our uh, fighting skills a little. I think that's okay. Yeah. We can live with it. So, uh, I wish all the best to the next who uh, continues with Undying. Hopefully he will be successful on his quest. And I say thanks to all of you guys for watching the episode again. Hope to see you again next time. Bye everyone. No, haha. No, don't forget to create a character log file. So, now bye.